Hey what's up guys, welcome to Linux Techs. Antagos is one of the more polished Linux distros out there. It is beautifully designed, has a solid support and is intuitive as an OS. It's one of my favorite distros and I highly recommend it to intermediate Linux users. In this video we'll be seeing the correct way to install Antagos as its installer is still in beta and has been known to cause some issues. Ok here we go. You might want to pay extra attention here because Antagos has quite a different and an unfriendly installation procedure. Once you make an Antagos live USB, you boot into it. The first thing you should do is close the installer that launches automatically. Yes, close it. Next, connect the internet. Use Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whatever you use. Once the internet is connected, you just wait. So what happens here is Antagos connects to the server and checks for updates on the installer. This is mandatory. If you launch the installer yourself or use the installer that launched as soon as the OS booted up, the installation will fail. You just wait for the installer to be updated. It will pop up by itself once it gets updated. We wait till then. So another important thing is, if at any stage the installation fails, Retrying to install won't work. You have to reboot the computer and follow the proper steps. This updating might take some time. Ok, here it is. Click on install it. Select your language and hit forward. Make sure all the four fields have a green tick. Select your location. You can use show all location to search your location too. Select the time zone keyboard layout and here you have the option to choose your desired desktop environment GNOME, KDE, MATE, OpenBox and XFCE. So I want Cinnamon or shall I go with GNOME? No, I want Cinnamon. And in this screen you have the option to fine tune your installation with extra features. I suggest you select the AUR, then select the browser you want. You can select both two and select the flash plugin, you'll need them. If you have a graphic card then select the proprietary drivers too. And you can also install LibreOffice and Wine Plus Play on Linux if you want. I'll pass on them. If you want them just select them here and hit forward. Here's the Arch user repository disclaimer or close it. Ok here we have two options. I'm gonna use a partition so I'll go with the second option. And we have to wait till the installer ranks the fastest mirror for downloading updates. This might take up to 20 minutes. So I'll fast forward here. So after 20 minutes, I am selecting an empty partition and formatting it for Antigos. Do the same. Click forward. It's the summary of my installation parameters. Forward. Yes, fill in, uh, the, fill in the new username, password and stuff here and hit forward. And the process starts. Now do not disturb the computer. It will take some time as it has to fetch the latest of all the packages from the repositories. I have one Mbps connection and it took 3 hours for this to finish. If you have faster net then the procedure will finish faster. But if you have speed lower than 1 Mbps, then it will take more than 4 hours. You can do this just before you sleep as your attention is no further required. The packages will be downloaded while you sleep. That's it guys. After the installation is complete, reboot the computer with the live USB unplugged and enjoy your awesome Antigos OS. If you have any questions, use the comments below and I'll get back to you. Hit the subscribe button for more awesome Linux stuff. This is Linux Tech signing out.